Hello Internet and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a reduced color palette look so you can get that 8-bit, 6-bit, 16-bit or however many bit you want feel in Blender. Just a couple of notes, I'm using Blender internal render, not cycles, with no anti-aliasing and I'm rendering with a small render size. So I'm not going to scale it down, I'm going to start off by rendering it small. Anyways, so once you have your scene set up, you have it all done, you render it. And in the compositor, we want to split the color into R, G, and B channels. Now the easy way to do this is you put a color ramp on each one, uh, and you separate that color ramp into like four colors each. That will get you 6-bit color. Uh, and if you want to do 8-bit color for two of the color channels, you can separate it into uh, eight colors and the other one separate it into four. Uh, now this is cool. You get an interesting effect, but you get all this banding and it, it doesn't really look too nice. So, uh, dithering. Dithering is when you create patterns with the, uh, the colors, so it gives the illusion of shading and gives the, uh, kind of the appearance of having more colors than you actually do. So, for example, in this much more complicated node setup, which I'm not going to go into, uh, an extreme amount of detail on uh, how to create yourself, I will, I will just put a download link in the description. I split the color channels and separate uh, each color channel basically into uh, various ranges, kind of like what the color ramp node does, but this time we're using patterns uh, for some of those ranges as a factor uh, for mixing two of the four color values that we can use. I'm going for a 6-bit color here instead of 8-bit for the sake of reusing the node groups, and the result I think looks fine, gives me kind of what I'm looking for. And even with only 64 colors, I think this looks pretty cool. So there you have it. You can do quite a bit with this. Uh, you can mess around with the lighting contrast and whatever and just slap this node group onto the end of it. I know I called it 8-bitify, but it's really 6-bit. You can do whatever you want, expand it, contract it, have fun. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.